Well, hello everyone, Dylan here. Happy Throwback Thursday, and the rotation leads us to a Hero Factory review. And today's do it is on uh, on Stormer XL and Speed of Demon from Breakout Wave Two of two from 2012, of course. And also my last review of the 2012 range, of course. So on the front of each box, you of course see the Lego Hero Factory logos and the gold top to it, just like how the bags also did, well, to symbolize it as wave two, of course, and see picture of the sets that come within, and also the names on over some caution tape, and also 500 and 900 uh, game points for the online game that there was, and also, and again, the sets in action on some ice place, of course, and also recommended ages, set number, amount of pieces. Back to this one. See Stormers in a different pose of which, showing his features, the cuffs, and all the sets from Wave 2, of course, and how to use the online game. Back of which, you see. Speed Demon off the bike in its features and his feature, and also all the sets from Break Wave 2 and how to unlock the online game, of course. And so, to the manuals, large ones and same picture as on the front and everything, but although not feeling quite glossy or whatever. See, go for the online game. Win on the online survey. And also, Lego Club. And also, the Marvel Google Figure Sets, which also do for a future Throwback Thursday. And then, HeroFactory.com. And some of the other sets that I previously reviewed for Throwback Thursday. And the large combination model that they make. And pieces in, that come with them, and last building stuff. First off is Stormer XL himself, of which he large upgrade from Stormer 3.0 year prior, but and of course gotten a little downgrade in the next two years following, of course. So from the ground up, like always, we let's see for the legs of which do have these all new uh, foot pieces. Well, I guess new for the time and. Which, as you can see, do have two large toes of which, which do kind of resemble Optimus Prime from the live-action Transformers film series. So, which and this thigh of which, or the thighs of which, do, do look kind of thick and bulky with these, and also so these, this all new kind of piece that he and Speed Demon both have are these like special Technic beam pieces, but with a uh, ball joint or somewhat ball joint in them so you can attach uh, CCBS armor shells onto it which is great for mocking of course but besides that which quite thick to it and yeah and also for this leg of which sort of the same but with a few stickers on it and also that piece of wood well there's a lot of stickers on this set of course and also, of course, just like all the other hero sets of the wave is the line handcuffs to handcuff them with, of course. And onto the main body part is also he, which has comes with a lot of the new friction joint pieces for extra stability, even though 
from this previous set, so which didn't have that, but instead with the pistons in the backs of the legs, which I think good for that. And so now on to the body of which, which as you can see, he has the same exact chest plate piece that uh, the Hulk buildable figure set also had, but in white, and was used in a few other sets, but amongst all the other sets with it, had stickers on that. And of course has the hero court piece there, like all the other hero sets do. And also, the if look on the back of which, then you see how well the torso's built is. As you see, it's like one torso, or two torso pieces, the shortish one and the more longer ones to fit that. And, oh, it's quite neat to use the pieces there, of course. And interesting built for that. It's kind of similar to the Hulk figure, of course. And also, I take these out. I also get this double socket joint piece, but very small, which in this piece of which quite rare and only came to him, or came in him, of course. It's not sure. really don't get why they wouldn't didn't include them in other sets. Of course, all the women great if they did. But whatever. But on to the arms of which which just simplistic of Hero Factory builds, of course, and also does have these like little scout drones with stickers on them as well. Since in the Nick epi Nickelodeon episode of which they like detach and fly off, fly off after Speed a Demon, of course. And what's kind of odd is how this one arm has two of them, but the other arm of which has just one of them. Not sure. I kind of don't get why that is. But although that could have worked out, but maybe that's just me. But also on this one, it does have the kind of shorter sword piece, so it, which is a few Technic pieces and also two of these sword pieces, but now in silver and blue, of which quite cool and all. And also, with as you see, the Axophor's hand there is, you can like slip it there, so you can store it there, which is kind of nice. And also with in the other hand, which is the same exact launcher piece as all the hero sets had, but now with a blue sphere in it. So you can fire like so. And then for the shoulder parts, which does have the five long armor pieces, but in blue, probably to uh, match up with the stickers, of course, and a couple more scouts. Or scout drones on there as well. And they do have a couple of bits of movement there. And as for the head and uh, helmet of which, as you see, both of which same exact kind since 1.0, of course, or Storm of 1.0, of course. Since, of course, this time of which they kind of went back to that. Probably for money, probably because of money or something. But yeah. And then I guess that is it with Stormer XL. So now on to Speed a Demon himself. Which, as you can see, it is kind of skimpy for. Oh, I guess see, plenty of lime green and trans yellow pieces to it. Quite nice color scheme, of course. And, and also a bit of gold as well. So, like these legs of which. Does have the traditional feet in lime green, of course, and also do get these pieces as well, and also a lot of these spike pieces in gold. Quite nice for mocking. And as for the body of which, this traditional piece from the fire villain sets, of course, and also that kind of largish armor piece of which, although I think a like large full armor piece could have worked out, but maybe that's me. But then for the arms of which also kind of elongated and of course have one of those add-on pieces that Bulk 3.0 of course had and 
also in the hand in his hands are the little electric shooter things that just like we have with Voltix, of which probably since of course in the Nick episode went on the bike he used that to shoot at Stormer of course. And on the back on his back, which is another one of those pieces again, and also but and also he which comes with five of these uh joint or limb pieces, but in lime green, of course, and leading to a pair of hands and leading to a pair of gold Ninjago katana pieces, probably in to of course in order to fight others when he's on the bike or on the motorcycle, of course. And as for the helmet and head of which, traditional Gatorian head, of course. And the helmet of which, just the same as Black Phantom and Voltix's, but in lime green, of course. And also do get these Savage Planet uh, blade pieces in gold, of which, great to have for Mock King, of course. And well, let's. I guess that is it with him. And now on to his the last part of it is the motor his motorcycle, of course. Which, as you can see, is kind of similar to that of like the Forno bike in twenty ten Hero Factory, which kind of hard to balance on here. But also, and also unlike with that one is. It doesn't have a kickstand to display it with. Kind of a bummer, but I think they should have included that. Anyways. But although I'm sure some of you can add one of your own on if you want. So, like, I see the same exact wheel pieces as that, but in purple, of course. Of course, a lot of purple in this one. Sort of a bit like the Harry Potter night bus and whatnot, but at least. Great to have here, of course. I also do get uh, Surge's original weapons, of course, and also Makuta Bittel's uh, foot in there, of course. And same piece that uh, Stormer XL also had, but just two of this, where it can attach armor bits onto Technic beams, of course. Very nice. And also one of those pieces is, again, but in silver, of course. And of course, more of those golden spike pieces, uh, which in order to try and blow out others' tires, of course. And on this like front dashboard, which have four rock eyes, probably use this headlights, and also get another one of those uh, scout drone pieces in purple, which very nice of it. And, and for the to the far back part of which, do you get a scrawl? or the scrawl armor piece in purple which quite cool if you are to use that in mocking if you want but yeah and uh what else to say also it also have a pair of those turbine pieces probably to make it uh go really fast or whatever and of course how to put speed demon on to it is you just connect the ball joint on his body and on to that ball joint. They're kind of odd, but at least it's the do later reinforced kind. And then you get the hands and just put them onto the axles, of course. And of course, curl the feet up and he's set and ready. And if you remember that in the Nickelodeon episode of it, well, Stormer XL did have his own motorcycle to chase him down with. And although that also could have been the set, but that would have been a little too more expensive. But and also, of course, that which was just a direct copy of uh, Furno XL's bike, or the Furno Furno bike, of course, from 2010, and and of course. He was both the handlebar and Spia Demon's wrists were the way for him to cuff him in the episode.
Okay. So, let's, so now on to the final verdict. That overall, these are which quite cool sets from that from the time of which, like Stormer XL, major upgrade and him tall, which well suits him being the leader, of course. And of course, Speed Demon, of which quite in, quite good use of reintroduction of a motorcycle in as in set form, of course, and also get plenty of lime green and purple, of course. Oh, which nice to have in mocking, of course, and also do come with a lot of scout drone pieces, which you can definitely use in mocks and whatnot. And as Speed Demon's price per piece, of which is uh, kind of deep, but at least these kind of sign of the thermal signs of the times, of course. There's been, of course, that also went on into Bonicle Generation 2, obviously, and and also this, so it, and of course, they were still good in the Nickelodeon episode, obviously, and yeah. And, uh, what else? Yeah. And, and of course, this is my last breakout review, obviously, next to which, Brain Attack, obviously. And, and so now if y'all still have these two sets from back in the day, well, I hope you had some good memories of them. And for those of you who have it and still have access to these sets, I'd say definitely pick them up, eBay, Bricklink, whatever. And that is it with this video. Please like, comment, share, and subscribe. Thanks for watching.